Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike at MikeColeen.com. I'm going to try to make this a quick one, a couple minutes. It is how to meet women online now. Um, let's see here. I've actually got a blog on my uh, – actually, you can go, go to that URL, howtomeetwomenonline.com, or just it, – it'll take you to my home page. I just bought that URL. Uh, so you can go to my home page at MikeColeen. That's K-O-L-L-I-N.com. I, there's a, there's a piece in there I couldn't quite put into uh, words or it would have took me a long time so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there right now hold on one second let me pop that up if I can there it is all right so there's a couple reasons um, why you really all right this is gonna be kind of funny the first one I'm putting up is gonna be reasons why not to go online because well I'll get to it all right so uh, the first one is um, all right, let me explain this one, okay. So I say, well, you might absolutely suck at meeting women in person. Now, I didn't really explain that and how that affects going online. If you can't meet women in person, you're going to be worse online, and there's a bunch of reasons why, okay. Be, um, it's what the female mating system is looking for, and if you can't do that online even a little bit, you're not going to be able to do it in person. So if you can't do it in person, you, you, you clearly don't know how to do it online. All right, so... I'll, I'll explain a little more in detail in a second. All right, so here's my biggest problem with meeting women online. All right, I, I've got a bunch of bullet points here, technically check marks with bullet points. The biggest reason why I learned after a while meeting women online is work. I mean, it's like a job, and you are online for hours. And, and admit it, a lot of you guys are on all these different things from, I don't know, let's see, uh, What's the what's the one with the cell phone? I can't think of the name right now, but you've got like plenty of fish, and you got all these other things going on, and you spend hours and hours and hours online. Now here's what I'm trying to now here here's the uh, here's the trick, or the uh, it's tricking you is what I'm saying. You think it's faster, but it's not. Meeting women online takes forever. Now here's what I mean. I'm really fast at. It. I remember I posted uh, years ago before. All these new ones popped up when Craigslist had like, that was like one of the main ones. I mean, I was getting email after email after email because there's a certain language that triggers the female mating system, okay? Let me move this over for a second. All right. So it made it really easy for me to meet women. And I had a client, uh, I was actually punching, here, let me, let me explain this. I was trying to use how she responded and how to respond back. And he saw all these emails. He's like, wait a minute. You got all those responses? I'm like, yeah, why? He goes, I'm lucky to get one or two responses in like a week if I post an ad. I'm like, well, that's because you don't know what you're doing. All right? So that's that's my point. So I taught him the female language and how to use it online to actually attract women to him. Okay? And here's, here's what, okay, how to explain this. All right. I'm actually very fast compared to other guys. I mean, super fast at meeting women online. I mean, just like that. But what I noticed was, no matter how fast I'd meet a girl, you still have to type and go back and forth, back and forth. It could take a couple hours, it could take a couple days, uh, whatever. And then finally you meet the girl. Let's say you meet the girl in three days after two days of exchanging emails, okay? Maybe four days, whatever. And then you finally meet her. Here's what I learned. Here's what I figured out. The way the female mating system is wired is she's wired. Now, here's the thing a lot of guys aren't aware of. She's wired to see your body language, to listen to your tonality, your rhythm, your tone, and all these unconscious unconscious things that we do. And you can't do that through emails. Now, here's the deal. The male brain is just is all about words. Men, it's about words. But the right brain, the female brain, is more than that. The right brain, again, is the five senses. See, hear, feel, smell, and taste. She has to experience who you are as a person in person. Even on the phone is very limited. Although, if you know how to speak this hidden language that I teach in my course, boom, you're going to get her hooked, okay? So here's the deal. This is what I noticed. When you meet women for the first time, it's as if they met you for the first time and now you're starting over. And that is the problem with mo for most guys with online dating. So here's what happens, and if, if, you, if you're successful online dating at all, you know what's happened to you too. For example, what happens is, when I, this is, okay, let me give you this tip right now. Right now. If you are going to meet women online, do not wait 
too long. And here's what you can actually email her and just say, yeah, I totally understand what you mean. Because the women have this happen every single time. Because it's part of the way her brain is wired and the way her mating system is wired. Okay, here's what I mean. I'll tell girls in a couple of emails, like, hey, I'm going to tell you something right now. Here's what I've learned. Whenever I meet someone online, uh, if we wait too long to meet in person, so let's say we, we chat for four, five, six, seven days, and then we meet in person, what happens is, here's one of the biggest problems, is you get an image of her in your mind of who you think she is, and she does the same thing to you. She thinks, oh, well, this is who this guy is. And then when she meets you in person, all of a sudden she can hear your voice. She sees your body language and the way you react to people socially. Now, her, remember, her mating system is hardwired to be attracted to you based on your social behavior and how you interact with other people. Because if you're good at that, if you have good social behavior, that means her and her children are going to have a better better rate at survival because now you can interact with people better which means you're going to be supported more get better jobs and on and on and on okay her mating system knows what it's looking for so here's the deal when she meets you in person she's going to see how you interact with people and yes that's something i'll teach you in my course so here's what happens when she gets an image of your mind if this is who this guy is because you've been emailing back and forth back and forth back and forth for days weeks even months and she meets you in person, all of a sudden she's like, whoa, this is, and it can, some women, it can shock them, because they're, this isn't who I thought you were at all, I've got to go, I'm out of here, and you're like, I didn't do anything wrong, I'm dressed nice, and what's going on, she'll say, oh, it's not you, or something like that, really what it is, technically she's right, it's the image that she created in her mind over time by emailing and going back and forth that way, all right, so that's the main reason why you don't want to do it, so here's, here's the deal, the other thing that you guys know is, and I, I'm going to I'm gonna direct you to my blog at MikeColeen.com because I actually break it down. I think I got like 10 bullet points or 12 bullet points. Another thing is how many times you've been talking to a girl online, maybe even start talking on the phone, and you've got these images of who you think she is. But when you meet in person a week or a month later, that, that girl is five years older than those pictures. Like, And, and I've even said to girls, like, you know, the pictures you posted – look like they're about five years old now that I met you in person or more. Oh, well, they are. Why? And you're like, well, I kind of wanted to get to know who you are now. I don't mean you have to have a picture that month. But if it's five years old, eh, I don't know about that. This should be fairly recent, at least within the last six to 12 months, okay? And I know a lot of guys you have. And here's another one. I even hate to say it, but I had it happen to me. There was this woman that I met online, and her pictures were, like, she was, like, I think 5'7", looked like she's about 130 pounds, maybe 125, 135 max. I walked into Starbucks, looked around, didn't see her anywhere. I was about 10, 15 minutes. I texted her, said, hey, I'm running late, but she was there, like, 20 minutes early. I was like, well, shoot, you know, I told you I might be running late. So I get there about 10, 15 minutes late. I walk in, and I'm looking around. There wasn't very many people in there. It was kind of late at night. And I was like, wow, I guess she just took off. Like, well, all right. So I turned around, went to walk out the door. And all of a sudden, some girls go, Mike, Mike. And I'm like, I'm looking around. She's Mike. And I'm like, yeah. She goes, where are you going? I'm like, do I know you? She goes, yeah, it's me, so-and-so. And I was like, kid you not. She was at least 250 to 300 pounds. I'm not knocking women overweight, but what I am knocking is you showed these pictures that were at least 10 years or more ago because she definitely looked a lot older than the pictures too. And she was really skinny. And like, like this it wasn't even close. So my point is you can waste a lot of time, have embarrassing experiences. The reason why I'm saying this is because for me and my clients, meeting women in person is like that. It's super simple. It's super easy. And one day, you know, I, I, I had spent all this time online for months and even years. And I one day I just I got so frustrated with it. I, I went out and because you'd meet someone like, oh, wow, you did not represent yourself. Or, wow, you're not – your personality is not what I thought it was going to be and on and on and on. And then I just met someone, a person I really clicked with, and it took five minutes. And I thought, what am I doing wasting my time online? I'm going to be really honest with you. My first thing I'll tell you, I do not recommend spending time meeting women online. What I do recommend is you get in here and take this course and learn how easy it is. In fact, God, what's the word I'm, I, I had earlier today? It was basically, it's like you're not even trying. You're just meeting people. Hey, how's it going? You're not doing openers. You're not doing lines. You're not trying. 
you're just meeting someone. If you click, you, you take it to the next step. And if you don't, you just hey, nice to meet you. You move on. You could meet someone at Starbucks, at the gas station, at the coffee shop, uh, anywhere, and within five minutes get their number. If you understand what she's looking for, I should say what our mating system is looking for. So that's what I'm going to leave for now. There was another, well, I'm going to say something a little bit more. All right. Women, or I should say the female brain is looking for a certain kind of language. It's called the internal, mentally stimulating, emotionally fulfilling language. Now, I'm going to give you one piece. Now, there's about seven pieces that you combine, actually more. But for the language part, there's about seven pieces. I'm going to give you one hint. Remember, the right brain is about the five senses. See, hear, feel, smell, and taste. It's about detail description. If you walk up to a girl and say, oh, you're beautiful. My name's Mike. She's going to be like, screw off. Because her brain and her mating system goes, this guy's lying. He just wants to get in my pants. Even if you really, really genuinely like the girl, she's going to think that because her brain is going, okay, this is the way her brain works. You said, you like me. I'm pretty and beautiful and cute, whatever. Then she's waiting for the description. Of, well, what do you like about her? And then describe that in detail. Now, I'm going to say one thing. Use descriptive languaging when you talk to a woman. Don't say have a big truck. Say have a big, bright, shiny, powerful 4x4 truck. There's five descriptive words or phrases. That's how women talk. If you listen, they usually use at least three to five adjectives or adverbs before they talk about the noun or, or, or the subject, okay? So this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Oh, by the way. I want to tell you something. If you learn how to do just that one simple basic thing, it triggers her mating system to want to have sex with you. And I will explain that in the course why. There's actually a benefit to her mating and having a child if she can find a male that's really good at using descriptive language. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. If you want to learn a different segment of my course, okay, which is not the course by the way, buy my book Crack the Female Code at CrackTheFemaleCode.com. That will help you take one more step into your power that attracts women to you. Go to my website at MikeColeen.com or you can...